<laughs> Welcome to the cult classic horror show. Every week, you can have the conversations you've always wanted to have about the films you love. Shut up! Get rid of your distractions and prepare yourself you got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody to the Cult Classic Horror Show. Danny Bonin here with you. And Scotty Bonin with you guys. We are the Blood, the Blood Brothers. Brothers. And, got, and the Rob. The Rob, there's a delay on Scotty's phone. Is there? You just got to say it. You can't, I did. Like, you I, can't I, I hesitate. Just, I just said it. Maybe I should turn my Wi-Fi back on. I don't know. Scotty's making us call his phone. Well, I'm coming in from Pagosa Springs right now. All right. I'll turn yeah, the Wi Fi on. It again. must be nice it must be nice to be an elitist. I thought you're part of the CCH elitists. There I don't go. know. Wi-Fi am I on. I don't know if I'm part of the elite. I don't like, know if I am is, either. Have you seen that going around in the group? Yeah, it's like it's it's <laughs> some it's some form of shadow government or Illuminati. Someone like, said I think someone said right before leaving the group, someone said it's full of like horror elitists or something mm-hmm. that, that shit on other people's opinions. <laughs> what? Yeah, so now there's That's not true. Now uh, a lot of the of the regulars call themselves the elitists. Let's see here. We got <laughs> We're just speaking their minds. I guess, I guess we got we got we're going to make we're going to make a CCH elitist shirt. Um, <laughs> we got yeah. we got Freddie Torres, uh, Oliver B again, Shea Fox, yeah, all Jonathan of these Prindle, uh, all these shirt Lance designs. Lance Wagner, that... Lance Dale. Oh my God! Look, it's growing inside. It's a it's a group within a group. It's a dream within a dream. What, how are you finding <laughs> who who calls themselves elitists? I just I just searched elitist in the group. Uh, See, oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna pub- I'm gonna publicly bash this guy, but I guess too many. I'm the only one who knows anything about horror here, and he put that in quotes like yes. a douche nozzle. Used to be, used to be a cool. Well, actually, used to be. It should be used. Or <laughs> used to, you know. Well, it's yeah. like you guys. It's like you guys. Is uh, used to be a cool page, but the elite have ruined it. <laughs> have fun talking to yourselves and attacking. Like you are cool. That's just yeah, and everybody. And then so Jay, what, and then a whole bunch of other people commented on here like elites are obnoxious. Can't say I've come across too many, honestly. <laughs> why <laughs> why, why is there even a title of elitist in, in the group? That's weird. Uh, and then and then and then all of our all of our followers really really did come in full force on this Patrick <laughs> Marion guy. Freddy Torres is dropping the in sync bye 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 memes. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Oliver B again drops the oh, show man. me on show me on this doll where the internet hurt you. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, oh, Robert 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 O'Neill, this handsome bearded guy, he probably has a. I hear like, he's I hear he's heavily overweight. No, no, it's not morbidly obese. Oh, husky. okay. And okay. then of course uh, okay. I I yeah. had to I I have this one saved in my phone all the time, but it's uh <laughs> it's a picture of a doctor. Uh it says here you get offended on Facebook. I'm writing you a prescription for two testicles. Oh, oh burn. Oh, and then uh Freddie Torres making his own memes. Uh I'm leaving the group, but not until I post about it. Wait. And then, and then wait a while to see what everyone has to say about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my Robin, God. Uh, Robin Party's coming in. Uh, Aaron Garcia, uh, hashtag high rollers. Oh, let's see. Lance Wagner wrote something. Uh, well, let's see here. Patrick, don't go. Please, please don't leave. Please. But in all seriousness, Patrick, I apologize that we are 
guys close to the fact that we were actually listening and support the CCH podcast. Damn right. In these dark Hell days, yes. it's a very cruel and hateful world. It really is awesome to laugh and have fun with cool, genuine people. <laughs> You could be You're part damn of right. you know. Well, who yeah, wrote that? Trying to help. That was Lance Wagner. Oh yeah. Who I'm going to <laughs> announce. I've gotten to the bottom of this whole puppet master thing. It's taken some time, guys, but I've done, I've done some I've done some investigating, um, and I am I'm officially informally blaming Lance Wagner for puppet master. He claims was that he it? voted for slumber party and I'm too lazy to go back and look at my poll, but just be just, just, just due to recent events over college football arguments that we've had, I am officially blaming Lance Wagner for the, for the puppet master fallout. So uh, he wasn't like the, the true culprit though. There was, there was no, someone no, else no, 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 no. I'm fairly certain it was Lance. I'm <laughs> fairly certain. <laughs> well, we go with that. Well, speaking of puppet master, add, we add the elitist t shirts to the list of designs that you're supposed to have Savannah make. That, yes. That never happens. What were the other ones? I gotta uh, we need Prankster Pinhead. We need Pouch Boy. Uh, yep. We need, we need Judd Crandall. Judd Crandall. Look, we're not putting a child molestation <laughs> themed shirt. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't think anybody's got the balls to well, wear it. Well, Freddy Torres will wear that. We won't mention him being a child molester. We'll just put a picture of him and just say, you know what? And that's it. <laughs> it's, very, it's very implied that that man is a child molester. Yeah. Okay, CCA. So many good things to do. So many designs we need to do. We'll just. CCA. We'll just. We're, gonna call it CCA. We're just going to call it CCH Elite. What, you just went away from your microphone or something. It's kind of, I think this cord's about it. No, we're going to put Judd on a shirt with the quote, um, one in the, one in the pink, two in the stink. Cause that's all you can fit at that age. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm right? putting Isn't... on Judd Crandall question mark. We'll have to figure we it out. We have to do, yeah, it's pouch boy, pinhead, prankster pinhead, Crandall. We got to do yeah, this. What the heck? Oh, we got to do, oh, that's right. I got my other one, Rob Zombie. There has so. to be more out there. No, we, we don't we, need any we, Rob Zombie yeah. drama causing shirts. It's not drama <laughs> Hashtag Rob Zombie. We need a then we need a Rob uh, son of Kubrick shirt. Yes. I need yes. a son of Kubrick with my face on. <laughs> then, All right, we see into this. We're doing two movies today. When I was in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Well, people will be now be happy to know that. Um, we have combined seven and eight into this episode, and then all we're going to do, we have one more episode after this. We're just going to combine nine and Littlest Reich, because uh, I don't care about, I, I, apparently there's, is there 12, there's 10, 11 in the middle or something that, that we should yeah, give a there, shit about? There's one that Charles Band had no affiliation with right. um, that's in there, but I don't think we can do that one. Um, it was like Puppet Master... Uh, what the heck was it called? We we were talking about it already. I forgot. I'll I'll look it up. Well, but we're doing, we're doing Ac- Axis of Evil and then Little Strike, and then we're done. We're done. We're doing both yes. of those next week. Yes, Axis of Evil. Yeah, it was um, Little Strike. Yeah, yeah, and actually the other one's not even on there, so it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. It's it's not even it doesn't even show up on like the actual Puppet Ma- Master movies. So all right. Next week, I last, think it was just like a spinoff. Last Puppet Master episode next week. Oh yeah, Demonic Toys. That's the one. Puppet yeah. Master vs. Demonic Toys. Yeah, no. We'll skip that one. Not doing that. So um, this one we're doing Retro Puppet Master, which is seven, and then Puppet Master: The Legacy, which is eight. So we're covering those two today. Yes, uh, I'm probably the only one that noticed this because none of you guys watch the room. Greg Sestero, main person. No, I, 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 well, I didn't see the room, but I looked it up and I noticed that he was in. Rob, have you Mark even watched the, the room, room yet? Uh, yeah, but I, he just he just looked like a really shitty Jonathan Taylor Thomas knockoff. <laughs> he oh, was, he definitely. Uh, so I was like, "What's JTT doing in this? Oh, sorry, what's <laughs> JTT stuntman that got fired for not quite being a good actor uh, doing in this shit movie? And why is he dressed up like Liberace the whole time?" It's it's 1902, <laughs> not 17. Was it 02? I thought it said I thought it said like 40 something. What did it say 02? 
it began like in the forties and then it like went back uh, to like okay, fucking that makes sense. Egypt. That makes oh my yeah, God. Egypt, the Egypt flashback was so just bullshit. Okay. Well, you don't even, you didn't watch number eight, so you don't even know what's coming down the pipe. Yeah. Eight, eight was not, well, we'll just, we'll talk about retro for now, but eight. Yeah. You don't even want to see that one, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he was Liberace guy, and I, his his French his French accent was okay, but eh, well, he passable. speaks he speaks French. I guess he grew up French American. Yeah. Greg Sestero, yeah. and this he did this uh, three years before he did the Room, I think. Yeah. So how and, sad is uh, that that he played the lead in Puppet Master Seven, and uh, then is still stuck in a in an acting class with Tommy Wiseau in L.A. and and still does the Room three years later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, like, time, I mean, he didn't, he didn't get a shit ton of work after this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah, not. What the heck? Well, like, at the time that uh, this is worse Cicero, than the room. It, uh, maybe. Well, it's, 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 no, no, no. It's because the room is so bad. It's good. In the room. It's because the room is so bad. Far. It's good. Have you watched the room? Yeah. I've never seen it. You I've didn't watch it, watched, did you, Rob? No, I did. I've seen the room. You didn't you, watch you it. You told me to watch it. Yeah, but I you did. but you probably didn't. You never watched shit. I did. I I watched tons of stuff, Danny. Well, I know, but not the sh- shit you're supposed to or that we want you to. No, I do. I watched the room. <laughs> I actually this is worse than the room. This is by far worse than the room. I've never like, seen the room, so I'll I'll, I'll to, the I'll fight see. scenes you, in this think, are so Danny? much worse than the the than the room. It's so much worse than the room is awkward. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that. I mean, like that, like mostly the acting was worse in the room and the room is just a really, and the writing was worse in the room and the scene structure and the plot, but it's so funny and bad that it's actually good. Like this, this one was like, Neh. you know, it was yeah, like, well, it, it wasn't so bad that it was good. I mean, yeah. I can't believe I, the blonde who was in the room looks so familiar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they use her anyways. She's not even very attractive. Uh, she's got, the the she's girl got, she, the, the, yeah, like that was in it. Boobers. Yeah, when you're when you're when you're spending six million on a movie, you can cast whoever. How did uh, he get the six million? Was that, it? that is um that is, you know, under debate. Wasn't Are he you guys talking about, the he girl somehow girl talking about the room in the in the room? Yeah. <laughs> the blonde one, she looks the girl like girl in Retro Puppet Master. No, the girl in Retro Puppet Master wasn't that bad. She was pretty she cute. She was yeah, she she had she didn't have any breasts, but that's okay. But she was definitely cute. Yeah, she was all right. She was pretty cute. I was hoping yeah. that they would kill the brunette in this movie at the end, and she would have been the leech woman. Oh, oh yeah. She but they already have a, they already the have leech a leech woman. woman person. It was uh, it was Toulon's uh, wife, right, that died from the Nazis. Uh, Isn't that? I'm not, I'm, not reading, I'm not reading too deep into this one. Yeah, because because this one, this actually retro Puppet Master was supposed to be a sequel to Puppet Master Three: Toulon's Revenge, but then it ended up getting pushed down the line, and uh, they did, you know, four more or three more in in, in between. So yeah, Leech Woman or was two more. Leech Woman at one point was his wife that died. Yeah, yeah. She gets shot. I think in three in Revenge. Right, that's the Nazi one. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So, so yeah. <laughs> so you got Greg Sestero, young Greg Sestero playing young, young Toulon, young Toulon, and uh, with the French accent, uh, it's just you can't beat it. You just can't beat it. Yeah, he was he, he was originally asked to audition with a British accent, um, which he couldn't do well. So Sestero discovered that Toulon was a French character and asked the directors if he could audition with a French accent. And then obviously he's French descent and speaks fluent French. So he attributes that to getting the role of young Toulon. Yeah. That's probably the only <laughs> reason. Yeah. I uh, guess at the time, Sestero was cast in retro mask. He and Tommy, Tommy was so we're actually pretty good friends and we're both struggling actors trying to break into Hollywood. Um, was so was supportive of Sestero, but uh, he, since Cicero was a lot away for a long period filming this on location, cause this was the only movie filmed outside of the U S um, 
Boussou became jealous and sunk deep into depression <laughs> and fell. He ultimately broke out beginning work on the room. So yeah. Greg, Greg, why you film puppet master without me? <laughs> I should be with you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think this was filmed. I mean, I'm assuming it was UK. I, I don't see where it was filmed, but it wasn't. This movie in, it was could have been filmed master. in the fucking parking lot of a damn Walmart in Tucson, Arizona. Nobody gives a shit. These movies are abominations. And I don't yes. mean like an abomination, like, oh, the, the child's play Curse of Chucky wasn't very good and there was too much. Seat. No, these movies are, it, it's the, hands down, I'm calling it right here, hands down, this is the worst movie I've ever seen. When you say yeah. abomination, it makes me think of Evil Dead 2013. Retro, no, even 2013 was amazing. Because that's what they call it, the abomination. Oh, that's right. Fucking but any which way. It. Anyways. Yeah, uh, retro, this, 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 one this, wasn't this is the worst movie. This is the worst movie I've ever seen. I, I, I disagree with that. Come on now. Worse than. No, no, no. I mean, name, name a worse movie than this. I mean, like, I mean, there may be some that come in as a tie. <sighs> this is like, this is like the worst. The this worst might have been the worst movie. movie. Puppet I don't. Master I don't know if it's seen. the worst puppet master. There's been some pretty bad know. ones. Uh, well, I would rather watch all of the howlings back <laughs> to back than watch <laughs> this movie again. This mo- this movie was like a really bad, long, shitty episode of like Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark? But it wasn't really that long. It's like eighty minutes. Oh, it felt like dude. It felt uh, so long. kind. Hugh Jackman and- is back at least in this one. He, yeah. he was not, I don't think he was, uh, well, yeah, none of our, he wasn't in the last one. Cause that was a uh, auction dude that bought, bought the puppets, you know? Yeah. Well, guy, guy Rolf is kind of Hugh Jackman, right? I think so. Yeah. The, the elder, elder Andre Toulon. Where did the mummies get the skin? Uh, why do they repeat each other over and over again? Why, why are they, why are they mummies? Why do they have sand inside them? Are you talking about like three <laughs> servants? Yeah. That, like talk weird? Yeah. <laughs> like talk like this. You know what? Oh, they were the oh, only oh, decent crap actors. Crap people. <laughs> crap people. <laughs> crap people. You know, they were the only ones that were uh, decently good actors, uh, probably just because of the voice they had to use. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was post. And you know I'm what? I'm pretty sure that voice was inserted post. And, and actually, you know what? Um, the sorcerer guy that, that dies for no fucking reason at all, like is dying for no reason at all, uh, he was a pretty good actor. Everyone else was yes. total shit. Oh, you know what? The brunette wasn't bad either. Yeah. No, the, uh, I take uh, it back. The worst movie yeah. I've ever seen was Rob Zombie's Halloween. No, that's not true. So no, this was worse no, than that. No, no. Tin, tin, cup, worse tin that. cup is worse than Rob Zombie's Halloween. You shut your mouth. <laughs> tin, cup, tin Cup is one of the greatest movies of all time. Yeah, you're right. I meant to say the, the what is it? The daughter? Nope, nope. The good da- The daughter? Look, okay, it, that, movie, that, movie, that movie had issues. I'm not going to say that it didn't have issues. But I ignored all of them. Because Kevin Costner is that handsome. Oh, oh yeah. He made oh, another yeah. horror movie around that time called Dragonfly that I haven't seen yet. What? It's, it's probably you one of the only seen? Kevin. That sounds familiar. It's probably one of the only Kevin Costner movies that I have. You not haven't seen a seen. Kevin Costner movie? Apparently, what, I, I just discovered this one. Um, but uh, I'm sure it's fantastic. Well, I will say Good. that the the puppeteers were the worst actors ever. Like the worst puppet oh my actors God. ever. Whoa. Come get come get me. Oh no, I have one eye, but one eye sees better than two. I don't know like why some kind of like political satire that he was trying to do in this thing about like we really don't have free choice. And like Oh my god. Well and what's Savannah whole... made it about twenty seconds into this, by the way, and then she fucking left. What's the whole thing with Greg Sestero coming out with too long, young Toulon? His intro made it seem like it was this 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 like smutty magic show with like de- demon play and stuff and, and then it's just a puppet show. The theater magic. Yeah. It's yeah, just he was a like, puppet show. He's like, people will die and you'll see this and this and that. And and then it was just like a little kid puppet show, like, oh, okay. I really I, I really don't want to hear anybody talking about poorly about Tommy Wiseau again. Like <laughs> Mark 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 is awful in this movie. And <laughs> 
the fight scenes are the worst thing ever. And then like the little puppets, why do they look so ridiculous? You didn't like, like them fighting they, with, uh, with KY jelly coming out of their hands. Oh my God. Yeah. And there was like no sounds. They were like fighting. It was like silent. Like all you hear, there was uh, no weird uh, squeaky noises uh, in this uh, one. Uh, there was, uh, uh, <laughs> oh. It was yeah. KY jelly I, beams or uh or it sort of reminded me of a cheap version of like the water monster in in um the abyss. Yeah. yeah. Which Rob you haven't seen, have you? I've seen the abyss. That's the one is that Ed the one Harris. with Ed Harris? Michael yeah. Bean. Michael Bean. Michael Bean. <laughs> Michael Bean. Michael Bean. Yeah, Michael Bean. Michael Bean. But um there's one with Ed Harris, the Abyss, and then what was the other one with the guy that played RoboCop? I don't know who played RoboCop. I don't watch any How do you RoboCops. not know? I don't know who played I mean, oh, God. Josh Duhamel? That's no. That is no. no that's, that's a different guy. Oh, the guy that looks like him? About. Sorry. That's it's, uh, what's his name? It's, uh, uh what's yeah, his the, name? Peter Weller. That's in, the, the guy that's in. What's um, new RoboCop's name? The newer RoboCop. I have not seen. What's his name? He's in the one with, uh, with Harley Leviathan. Quinn. Leviathan. What's that movie? I, Leviathan was. Doesn't really he good. also play Judge Dredd? That's 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 maybe not. That's that's Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, but there was a newer one. Oh, Olafin, Timothy Olafin, any... Oliphant. No. Oh, okay. Well, those that's, are the two that look like. That's not the right one. <laughs> no, you're you're Here's thinking of um... Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. Blomkamp. Oh no, no, that's the director. That's They're the making director. Another new RoboCop movie. Blomkamp's <laughs> fucking ge- fucking genius because he uses yeah. Charlton Copley that, in his shit. I love Charlton. I, 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 I watch. Uh, I Copley, love Charlton uh, Copley. Hardcore Henry was yep. fucking amazing. That movie was so good. I just love Charlton Copley. He's in oh, the Suicide Joel Squad. Kinem- Joel Kinnaman. Joel Kinnaman. That's him. That's I don't him. remember Joel him. Kinnaman. He's, yeah, yeah. He looks. He looks much, like Josh Dumman. Do a or whatever. Timothy Olyphant. How do much do you think Charlton Copley costs? Can we put him in a movie? Can we make a movie with him? Dude, I don't know. I think he, I mean, he probably did Hardcore Henry. Actually, I, I think I read an article that he didn't even get paid for that movie. What? No. I saw I read somewhere that like he waved, right, so if we, did, he basically worked for almost for free because they didn't have much money for that movie. But that movie was fucking awesome. Well, maybe we can get him out, do a movie, low budget, get him out for like a seven days straight of shooting pay him like 10 grand no man yeah. he just needs to pass by in the background so people are like was that was that Charlton <laughs> copley <laughs> no we got to get his crazy eyes and like voice on on camera he was so awesome uh, i love Charlton copley so much anyways open grave is still friggin i need to rewatch that because i totally forgot it that was the one with that weird German guy in it who's been in everything, too. Yeah. All right, we're getting off track here. Um, no, no, I yeah. think we're staying on track here because... So uh, I want to go, I wanna go the, back to the Sorcerer this movie, guy. Movies, Why this is, movie sucks a massive... They like, they, like, half-assed beat up the Sorcerer guy, and yeah. there's no cuts or bruises on him, but he's going to die. But it takes him, like, two weeks to die. Like, what? Then he kill himself? Well, yeah, he eventually kills himself because they come find him in but his... But then the three guys. In his weakened state. The th- is it the mummies that kill him? No, he kills himself in front of the mummies. Uh, oh yeah, but or what, whatever they are, there's no indication that he's hurt except for that he just he got beat up and now he just says he doesn't have much longer and he's gonna die. What the fuck? What the hell? What happened? They kick him in the well. His his three thousand years are up. He has to die. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It it didn't make sense to me either. He doesn't really look three thousand years old. No, and if you're going to be three thousand years old, why is he stuck looking like he's like he's seventy yeah. the whole time? He was he was very close to a young young Toulon, and he I think he really wanted like a kiss. He was too, like he that, probably was, he couldn't see below the frame, but he probably had his hand down the front of his pants. Yes, he was very very close to Greg S- Sestero there, but that they was also okay. uh, added slow mo in when. The, <laughs> When the three yeah. mummies are coming in and they sort of the first time they kill a bunch of people. Yeah, I saw that. That was apparently, weird. Apparently, apparently the effects team on the movie were told that the mummies were cut from the movie and they were re-added at the last minute. So they had to go shopping in Bucharest. So this film was this movie was filmed in Bucharest and they had to like buy rolls of gauze bandages and do all the makeup and prepare the mummies. The guys in like three hours. 
for the filming. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I don't want to don't want to disparage them, but they did a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they apparently were all right. James Franco. Apparently, James Franco auditioned to play young Toulon before Greg Greg Sestero got the role. Oh, no. Sestero got it over him. Yeah, no. that's what I see here. Yeah, um, well, yeah. and he and it's obviously he and Sestero because he's a sorry ass actor too. Oh God, you're just ridiculous. I can't even listen to you. He's never made a good movie. Yes, uh, are you oh, fucking Rob. kidding me? Besides, besides the Room movie that Danny what liked about twenty one hours. Well, it, the guy that the, the guy that like nicked his wrist in the desert. Oh, yeah, he cuts his own arm off. <laughs> what I mean, about uh, Pineapple Express eh, or, or the Great Oz? The powerful Great Oz. What about Oz. what about um, why him? Why yeah? Why him? Yeah, why? That was pretty uh, funny. It's just because you got Brian Cranston. That was there. pretty That's funny. The reason why that movie was yeah. really good. But yeah, he and uh, Franco and Sestero obviously have since collaborated on on the Disaster Artist, which. Greg Sestero's in the the Disaster Artist. I think he plays just a small part in it. Because yeah. um, Sestero wrote the adaption, the book after the room, uh, the Disaster Artist, my friend, my life in, inside the room, the greatest bad movie ever made. That's yes. what the title of, of the book is. And supposedly the Disaster Artist is based on Sestero's book. Well, it is. So, the Disaster yeah. Artist. You know, it's, 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 that's, See, this is what's really irritating. It's all about the making of the room. It's all the book okay, and the yeah, movie. Yeah. I've not yeah, seen but. the Disaster Artist yet. I've seen the room, but I haven't seen the Disaster Artist yet. But this, uh, this, uh, this, this JTT wannabe, like he's making it out like the room, like ruined his career, like my life after. No, you did Puppet Master Seven, and you were like <laughs> the worst part of this movie, like on a long list of things that make this movie terrible. You were like top three of what made this movie terrible. <laughs> yeah, he's Tommy, not very you, should be, you should be on your hands and knees, like sucking Tommy Wiseau's big toe for, for giving you a shot because of how shit of an actor you yeah. actually are. Yeah. <sighs> he played. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I mean, and Tommy was so, yeah, he came back with this after, he was pissed off at Sestero for leaving him and filming Retro Puppet Master. So yeah, but he still gave him a lead part. They're in. They made a new. They have like two movie, two new movies. Best friends, best fiends. Oh, I don't know okay. how that turned out. Have to check that out. Some but that they're like oh, the, that they're in and they're trying to be all like serious actors in it. You know, Sestero oh, and just, so just live off, live off the millions you've made for making that the Room movie. I don't. Know, you think just, he's made millions? I don't know. Oh, I bet with the book deal. I bet he has. I bet Tommy Wiseau's got rights to that book that, that well, JT Sistero put out. wrote it. No, there's no way Wiseau has rights to the book. Oh, he has to because he's a, he's a star in that book. I mean, his name's used in the book know. all the time Maybe. and everything else. And Maybe. I'm sure he made up. Didn't didn't the disaster artist like win an Oscar or something? Uh, I don't know. It was nominated, I think. Yeah, they're making. Yeah, I, I think it was. I think he won like. Best actor, or, or James Franco, or, or maybe he won, or he was James Franco won the award for best actor, of musical comedy for for the, for the Golden Globes. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and uh, Sestero played a casting agent agent in it. Did so, anyone else yeah. notice that uh, after the sorcerer dies, he like moves a lot? I, I like how he, he dies and he falls to the ground, and embraces himself. Like, uh, <laughs> uh hold on, oh, oh, like he's taking hold a nap. That. <laughs> and he like moves. He moves like, like three times, and I was like, "Oh, he's still alive." But but that's not really what was supposed to happen. Yeah. Did you guys notice too? So that happened, and when the when the puppet when he first sticks the little needle popping out of the ring into the puppet to make him come alive, uh, the puppet's supposed to come alive by himself. But you see a hand grab the puppet and and like hold him up, and it pans away like really quick. Uh-huh. And, but the puppet's not. It was supposed to be moving. By itself, because it just got injected with the ring. I didn't notice but that. But you see a hand. You see a hand pick up the puppet. Which I think it was. What? Which? What's? Which one's the first one that comes up? Is it the freaking retro? I think it's retro pinhead. Yeah, retro the pinhead. Muscly guy. Yep. Yep. So we, we yeah yeah we have retro pinhead in it. So he's the first one that comes up. Then retro blade, which looks like a witch, like an old witch, and then. Retro Tunneler is just called Drill Sergeant. Yeah, and so who's this skeleton tunneler. guy? 
That's Dr. Death. That's a new one. Yeah, and then and Cyclops, Cyclops is new as well. It is the one with the eye, yeah. Hmm. And then Retro Six Shooter, which yeah, which is there too. I mean, yeah, so you don't have Jester, you don't you don't have Leech Woman. Well, and you what could tell fuck? that they were running out of uh <laughs> They they were they might not have had the uh, plot so thought out because all of a sudden they're like, well, how's he gonna know that we have this girl? We'll send him a dream. <laughs> they yeah, can send exactly. dreams now. <laughs> and then he's like, well, we can't. We don't know where he is. We can't send him a dream if we don't know where he is. Yeah. We'll send everyone in the city the same dream. Yeah, and he will dream it. Yeah, and it shows people so, dreaming. How? First of all, where was it established that they could send dreams? And second of all, why do they have to know where he is to send him a dream? I, I yeah, don't understand. I don't know. Rob, yeah, that why? Didn't make sense. Look, I just, I mean, I, I didn't follow that part very well. <laughs> and then, what, what was this movie rated? Um, <laughs> it just probably did not have a rating because it didn't have a release. Because yeah, like, well, cause the guy's like, the, guy, the guy's like, why would you need your train ticket? And he's like, just give me the blasted ticket. Like <laughs> they don't even cuss in this yeah, movie. It's PG, it's, it's PG 13. And I don't even believe that there's, that there's like any blood really in this. Like, is there even any gore in this movie besides uh, like, besides, besides like the flashbacks? Du- dust? Well, there's, dust there's, and straw? they keep stabbing the mummies and like it's dusty sand coming out of them. I, I guess that's yeah. what they're filled with. That's it. I don't know what's going yeah, on this there. Is straight to the video. I can't yeah, believe we're in the 99 and they, and we're still not seeing anything widescreen yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was really disappointed that like these, I mean, these were, I don't even know if you would call these digital DVDs. <laughs> it was like DVD. somebody, D. it's like somebody like, like, like VHS taped, like scammed, a, like screenered a DVD with a, with a hand. Oh, it's just so, it's, it, <laughs> yeah. it, man, my, 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 my Samsung didn't deserve to have to have this played on it. Like I felt so bad for my television. Yeah. And, it, and it's weird, like, Retro explains how Tulan began practicing the spell which animates his puppets, but it totally ignores that that was originally established in the second film, exactly how he learned the spell, the animation. So, like, they're going back to him doing it here, even though they already told... They how did he learn it in the second, in the second one? one? Why are these he, puppets good? Why are they good? What is up with all this? Like, I'll never so bow dumb. down to evil. And they're good. And these retro puppets suck. They suck so much. Like, yeah. you can't even tell that it's Blade. And I shouldn't even care. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even know their names. For some <laughs> reason, I do. And I'm like, I'm like, you like, know, like, um, a, like a puppet master, like fanboy. Why? You look, you look absolutely awful. They don't look like Blade. Blade. They don't look yeah, like him. I was gonna buy the platinum box set, but not now. Oh, not now. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness God. sakes alive. What was that? Oh. No, we're not gonna have a hard half. We're, not gonna, <laughs> we're, do it. we're gonna punish the fans. Half-time. That means all the people that <laughs> voted on this awful, awful, awful series. They took our trust and they just like dry raped it. Like no lube at all. Like little they bow wow getting butt fucked in the back of a limousine by a grown ass man <laughs> named Judd That's Crandall what happened named Judd Crandall. It took advantage of us. All right. That oh means it's goodness. time for the horror halftime. We do have a horror freak of the week and that freak of the week is <laughs> Rob Gleason, Rob, Rob Gleason, Gleason? Rob Gleason uh, a new participant and uh, has now won the horror halftime. So do message us on Facebook with, uh, your shirt size and address, and we'll get you set up. Uh, you do have to message us on Facebook to get your prize, or me- at least message us somewhere. I think last week's winner, I saw him comment somewhere, like, what do I win? It's like, well, obviously you didn't listen to the podcast yet, because you have to yeah. message us on Facebook. You got to message us. So message us. I don't even know that I like that we're posting the winners, because then they can know they won without listening to the podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I might, uh, we'll see about that. I might talk to Kathleen about not posting those. We'll see about that. 
Yeah. Um, so get your memes in. Last chance for Puppet Master memes. Last chance. Oh, wait. Last. I guess that's not true. That's not true because well, we got next technically week. we'll be doing the episode next week, and then you can still submit Puppet Master memes for whatever we're covering the next week. So, yeah. uh, which will be something not Puppet Master. Yes. So maybe we'll maybe something this, that's this not maybe something that's not a series. Maybe we'll do some one offs just to sort of get stuck in something that else right good. away. That sounds good. Yeah. I like one offs. We so, should do like Rosemary's Baby and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we gotta we'll do Intruder. I wanna do Intruder still. Someone requested that and I've never even seen it and I I'm shamed because it's got Bruce Campbell and uh and fucking uh brain fart, fucking Danny Hicks. There we go. And so yeah. Anyways, yeah, we'll see we'll right anyways. It. Yeah. Um so yeah, uh get your memes submitted for next week. You can be the horror freak of the week. All right, that concludes yes. the horror halftime. All right. Hey, it doesn't let's... even affect me anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's this used to movie, it now. This movie was so well, bad. We can, we can wrap up Retro Puppet Master. Yeah, series. now we can Get move on, on to the, the next movie, which isn't really even its own movie. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to come out and say that I didn't watch it, and I don't feel bad about it. Well, you should. Well, you didn't need to watch it because it was a well, recap of all the movies. Well, he did need to watch it because he missed like three of the other movies. I didn't miss like yeah, three. You're right. I mean, I missed. How many have we done? I don't know. Eight, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so yeah, I've missed like three. There you go. See? Yeah. So you should have watched it. You better watch it when okay. we're done, even though we're done covering it. I'm not yeah. watching. No, uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> you bought the thing, you bought the set. Dude, and you conned me into it. You like bought a, the set. You conned me into it. It's payback <laughs> for me it. making you. you buy, it's, pay, it's payback for me to get, getting you to buy the Shining miniseries. You bought the set. That's what this is. I take it back, Lance. <laughs> I take it back, Lance Wagner. This was not you. Danny set all this up. Right. This was a giant, elaborate ruse to get back at me because he had to order. <laughs> Like the Shining miniseries on DVD, and he was very. I, really, I did have to order it. it. I would. I don't mind having owning that anyways. It's not horrible. I like. I still like the Shining miniseries, but it's just yeah, cheesy it's to, and it's soap opery. Um, yeah, I uh, like this movie. When, right after you ordered that DVD set, Charles Band was able to do a Taco Bell run for his office. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So oh, okay. you supported so you some you, starving artists, Rob. Dude, I'm um, yes, you did, Rob. You you helped out the cause, Charles Band's cause. All right, so uh, I, so Puppet Master Eight. I hope he doesn't see a dime from that. Uh, Puppet Master. I I I I want to tell you um, though, uh, um, uh, Pu- Retro Pu- Puppet Master was shot in just twelve days. So oh, it's it hard to believe. Quick. Hard to believe. So was so got all angry, got all days. angry about Greg being gone for twelve days. Exactly. <laughs> That's why it wasn't that long in Bucharest, and it and it was Guy Rolf's last film besides seeing flashbacks of him in Puppet Master Eight: The Legacy. Mm. So yeah, let's let's, let's R- move on. R- I- R- I- P, but why did he die? Is that why? Did he die? All right, this movie. Is that why it was I his thought... last film? Did he die? Can you hear? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think he died. It was just oh. that this was just his last Puppet Master film. Oh, okay. No, wait. Guy Rolf's. Well, let me. I'll look. I'll look it up while we go on to the eight. All right, Puppet Master Eight: The Legacy, uh, m- money grab or or response to confused as shit fans is my question about. This I don't movie. understand this movie. I mean, because I e- guess it was kind of cool. Either to, they needed, to, either they needed more money and they made it, and you just used old footage, and then you know all all they shot was some new footage in between, almost like Creep Show, you know, like like the like the story in between or something, but, and then, uh, uh, or, or fans were just so utterly confused about the puppet master universe that they had to make this movie yeah. to clear everything up. It's so weird. I mean, we, we have Peter, Peter, who is in Toulon's revenge. He was the little boy that, He's uh, a little fat the, boy. that looks like, yeah. looks like he just has shit stuffed in his cheeks, sort of like spaghetti. Exactly. Cheeks. And uh, here we are, years later. Um, he was rescued from from not from the Nazis as a child by Andre, Andre Toulon, and now he's an old man and has inherited the puppets. And he's at the Bodega Bay Inn for some reason, and now he's pursued by an assassin 
which is this lady assassin who forces him to tell her the entire story of the history of Toulon and the puppets, which he proceeds to do so, yeah. which recaps all the movies. Because she threatens <laughs> him with a fake gunshot. Exactly, which was the worst sounding gunshot I've ever heard in my life. And it didn't even match up with her like backfire or anything. Exactly. Yes. Her, her, oh yeah. And, her re- and, yeah. Whatever. Yes. Guy, Guy Rolf did die at age not age ninety one in two thousand three. So R I P. Anyways, so yeah, that was yeah the gunshot was horrible. But we did see uh, some flashbacks of. I guess you were Danny. You were kind of saying it was cool to see him in sequence like that. I don't know. I, at first when it started, I thought it was completely worthless. I was like, "What is going on here? This is stupid. Yeah, it's all it old very, footage. Yeah. It's it this is dumb as fuck." But then as it went on, I was like, oh, okay, I never thought of these being pieced together like that. And it was sort of cool yeah. to see them pieced together. But you could have just told it to me, um, like in an article, instead of making an entire movie about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rob, why are you making polls about doing episodes that you weren't on? People people have requested that. <laughs> And I put, I put, I put add options. People can add their own. Why do they, why do they want to even cover those episodes again when you won't even watch the movie? Well, that's not true at all. (laughs) I missed some good movies. Y'all did. Y'all started this podcast with evil dead. I didn't even get to be on the evil dead. Yep. No, they were great. That's when we were, that's when we were in the wee beginning of podcasting. Yes. No, some, somebody made like, I don't know, a couple of months ago in the elites, I guess we're calling them. Uh, uh, Hashtag elite. Um, they, a whole bunch of people were like, you know, where, where was he? Where was this? And I was like, I wasn't on this thing till like Friday the 13th. And then y'all weren't quite sure about me. And I missed a whole bunch. And, yeah, so I, put, you were, I put that on there, but so far we got who is this? Lucio Volci, Gates of Hell trilogy. Ooh, sounds sounds Italian and fancy. Yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah, Lucio Fulci. Yeah, Fulci's Fulci horror. He's a horror dude, horror director, movie guy. Nice. I did put let's do Puppet Master again as an option just to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. just a we'll see, Rob. I see that, Rob. You were. You were a fan just like these guys, and you came in, and you were like, you're like the very first like horror. They're going to be I'm so like, upset ever. when we fire you because you don't watch any of the movies. <laughs> Look, I watched, I watched this one, not eight. I watched seven, and that's that's I'm you pretty impressed. The, 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 the <laughs> pretty impressed with seven. myself. Yeah. He doesn't are watch. These, are, 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 are these movies maybe people people who know about? Uh, this guy who makes these movies are these like just like fan movies i guess because like because like you're saying the part eight is just a highlight reel like did people like order these by mail back in the day or like how did they find these movies it seems like it seems like this was an advertisement in the back of like the thrifty nickel or something i have no idea how people found these movies and how the, did he get them out? How, did he have a cousin? Did he have like <sighs> like a mafia teamster somewhere that worked for a distribution company that somehow got these movies out? I don't know who they just dist- distributed through. Full Moon Productions. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, is he like independently wealthy? How did he make money? I don't yeah. know. At the, at the end of I eight, there's a uh, I because I stay till the credits usually, and uh, at the end of the credits of eight, there's a big old thank you message for the ma- for the massive success of the puppet master series. Yeah. I mean, I I'm saw sure that this, too. Uh, yeah. Who is this like, guy? <laughs> who is well, this guy? Success. Um, Charles who, band, who, Charles, Charles band. And net. He's, here we go. He's Charles CEO. Band. Net full, worth. He's yeah. He's a full he's CEO. 20 and, million. No, 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 never mind. No, never no, mind. No, no, this no, is no. Charles Kelly. He's a country music singer. Oh, Oops. <laughs> Charles, hold on here. <laughs> is he? Is this guy a country music singer? No. I'm just saying. I googled Charles Not Band that I know of. I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff for Charles Kelly. Well, let's just like, go back. Like, does he have a pseudonym? Oh my God! Is this guy a country music? Singer? No. Let's just go back and talk about Puppet makes Master Legacy. Puppet snuff films on the side because he's a fucking pervert let's see if i let's see if we can even remember or nail down what happened so so well this whole thing starts well the first thing they have is is in egypt toulon and see that confuses yeah. me because 
you have like an older Toulon back in Egypt, I thought, that yeah. that uh, has the puppets and then comes across a secret from an old, from some dude in Egypt. But then it skips forward and now it's young Toulon, you know, who is Greg Sestero. So I don't yeah. know how that ties in together. But technically, technically the first movie in the series is Retro he makes Puppet Master. Porn. Well, that's what. And that's, didn't you look at the movies on Full Moon Production Channel? It's like all softcore porn. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I told you he was a pervert. It's like all I softcore porn. I told you he was a pervert. Yeah. And, this is like, this and, is like Showtime Originals Red Shoe Diary crap. <laughs> exo- if, if, you go to, if you go to charlesband.com, the second thing is like exotic movie house. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. So I had to click it. No, that's, also, that's what he can do now. That's yeah. all he can do now. No. That's all he ever did. <laughs> I think Stormy Daniels in Bad Girls at Play. Oh, <laughs> gotta watch that one. How much is this? Oh. <laughs> Rob's ordering it right now. Strippers exposed. Oh yeah. Secret. Make sure Savannah doesn't see. I told you about this already when I got the Full Moon Productions channel. I said when you go. I know, but man, this is like. In, does he make all these, or is you just got to like, say it again? <laughs> I said when you go on the channel, all you see is softcore porn covers. Yeah, but this is like <gasps> Linda Blair. Linda what? Blair did a softcore porn. No, it, I swear. No it's way. Called, Google, Google it. Linda Blair in Savage Island. <laughs> Really? Oh, I'm buying. I'm, I don't care if it's a hundred dollars. Ooh, how old is she in that? I don't know. Hold on, Linda Blair. Dude, it might be included <laughs> in your full moon subscription if you still have it. Oh, I don't know. Hold on, <laughs> I never. Savage Island, 1985. Oh, so she's younger. Well, yeah. Well, well yeah. Well, since Twenty, cri- like oh, mid twenties. Is, is she naked? In there? She's probably thirty actually, because in '73 that's when the Exorcist was made. So. Does she get? Y'all go on. See, I'm searching. I'm searching. You see for her Linda boobers Blair. in it. I'm I'm googling. <laughs> Linda Blair nude shower scene. Whoa. It's on some website called X Hamster. All right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right. Well, well anyways, sure anyways. Uh, Let's get back to you. Technically, the, the first. Legacy. So the way that Legacy plans this whole thing out is technically the first. If you're gonna watch Puppet Master in order, I don't know if I'll get this right. I don't know if I, my memory is good enough. But um, it all up the but you start with Retro Puppet Master with uh, Young Toulon. Uh, and then, let's see, how does Retro end? It has him... Uh, uh, what's... Uh, see? I already forgot what's next. <laughs> the, the three guys get killed, and then uh, then they're in the train, and and then she he saves her, and I forgot... Yeah, I can't remember how it ends. It's like Retro exactly. Puppet Master, then it's like, uh, and then I think it's Puppet Master 3 that's technically next, which is yeah. well, which is him just doing his thing with his wife at an old age. Uh, but, yeah, but but in Retro Puppet Master, the movie starts off with, with old Andre Toulon, played by Guy Rolf, telling the story of when he was young. So, I don't know, because yeah. it says... On here that that uh, Retro Puppet Master was supposed to be a, a sequel to uh, Puppet Master Three um, on uh, the re- revenge, Toulon's Revenge. Well, the way the legacy but, puts it, the way the legacy yeah, puts the it, the legacy is that we start yeah. with Retro Puppet Master, and then I think we go to Puppet Master Three, which is uh, um, the, Toulon's Revenge, which is the Nazis, and and uh, mm-hmm. the Nazis are at like they kill his wife. And then he just gets yep. revenge on all of them. And then that goes to the... Then after that, you should watch original Puppet Master because uh, then he flees to Bodega Bay. The Nazis hunt him down there and he kills himself before they break into his room. Yes. And Which that part part is played by William Hickey and not Guy Rawl, yeah. but that's okay. So he's in the room. That would be the third movie you should watch. Um and and then after that, I believe it was the one where uh, um, I'm forgetting the numbers, but where they come, it may, 
it might have been the second one, but it, but it, where they come and uh, that girl's like a psychic for no reason, and the only thing, yeah. the only thing she's useful for is knowing there's a trunk of puppets in the other room. You know, remember that one? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then you had the guy that with the been, cool hair. You watched that one, Rob? That might yes. have been four. Yes, 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 the yes. guy with the good hair yeah. and oh yeah, no, no, the guy had amazing hair. Yeah, yeah. So I think that one would be fourth. Um, oh, that was Puppet Master two. That was two? Okay. Yeah, Puppet Master yeah, 2. Yeah, the Paranormal Research Team is there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that would be two. And then uh, after two comes the one where the uh, s- they're still at Bodega Bay, and it's the scientist kid. The Rickster, when they play la- when they play laser tag. Yeah, laser tag. And technically, in Legacy, they say that Rickster is... Uh, um, gosh, they say that he is... Uh, oh... Sorry, they they say in their side story of, of of Legacy, the assassin girl apparently just killed him to look through Toulon's diary that he had, uh, yeah, and then didn't find anything. So then came to the Bodega Bay to find this guy who was you know old version of little boy in the Nazi one. So they bring back Rickster and that to talk about. Anyway, so Rickster would have been um, the fourth movie to watch. And then after that should be six, I believe, which is uh, with, Curse of the Puppet Master. Yeah. With, yeah, with Tank and which which still uh, I talked about um, how Rickster and his girlfriend, you know, at the end of that movie, they just had the puppets as like best friends staying in his room and, yep. and everything. Yeah. So basically, yep. it still means that they must have broken up and sold the puppet the puppets at auction at some point. Yeah. Uh, and then, so then you have Curse of the Puppet Master next with, uh, you know, the guy who, with Tank, uh, Tank, who puts, who wants to, who makes him carve his own little puppet, which I don't know what he was carving because it just ended up being a little robot. And then, he, and then Mr. McGrew. Yeah. Yeah. Then he, he moves his soul into that. Uh, and then is that, is that all of them then? And that's and that and that's it because Retro Puppet Master would be the seventh one, and then, yeah. So that that's that it. is the, so. So what did we say? The order that you're that that's maybe you should watch them in is is Retro Puppet Master, followed by Puppet Master Three: Two Ones Revenge, followed by the original Puppet the Master, first the first one, followed by the second one, followed. What, what what about the third Reich one? Followed by I don't know. We haven't watched that one yet. No, I thought that wasn't yep. there one that the no, which which one was the one that took place with the Nazis? That's what I just said. Two arms revenge. That's number okay, three. Okay, well you, I, I, I'm trying to they're, dude, they're, it's a blur. I right, just tried so let, let, let me just remember one had Nazis in Let it. me do this again. The, obviously Rob's still hunting Linda Blair's boobs. So <laughs> <laughs> I found them. Oh, dude, I didn't oh, I didn't I, dude, I didn't know this. They're they're everywhere. Did you see a everywhere. picture? Oh. Dude, Google. Both just of Google you. Just Linda Google. Blair's boobs. Just Google, just Google Linda Blair nudes and then hit Google images. It's pages and it's her, <laughs> but like really bad 1980s hair. Okay. S- ski slope boobers. And I'm pretty sure there's Bush. Okay. All right. Well, while you finish jacking it. Um, oh, man, I've gotten like three rounds in just now. That's why I kind of blacked out about the uh, oh. about the time, the timeline. So here. just to recap and, and uh, so everyone listening and we should all just rewatch these, including Rob. <laughs> uh, you want to start with Puppet Master six, or sorry, Puppet Master Retro seven, Puppet Retro Master. Puppet Master. Retro Puppet Master. Then you want to go seven. to Puppet Master three, Toulon's Revenge, which has the Nazis in it, Rob. Then you yep. want to go to the first Puppet Master. Then you want to go to Puppet Master two. Uh, then you want to go to Puppet Master four, four which has Rickster in it. Rick, uh, Rick, yep. Then you want to go to well, which one's uh, Puppet Master Five? Five, which is which is Rick again, um, and it's it's the the you know the totems are back and it's the underworld. I, it's, I forget. So there's two of those in a row. You had Rickster, yeah, Rick and two of them. God damn! What what was the first one that Rickster was in? That was them. That was Puppet Master Four. That was when you know. Um, we first see Sutek and he's the caretaker of Bodega Bay and, and, um, the liquid green syringes. He's, he finds that and all that. 
Okay. And brings the puppets to, back to life, you know, and then they're they're there with him. But all this stuff goes down of you know of, of them. Uh, and then and then five yeah, is them the again, just there again. Yeah. How does well, that one start? Five out? is they're yeah five. Uh, they're not um, at the Bodega Bay and yet they go back there and get the puppets. I believe. Okay, that's right. That's right. They're yeah. like they're like in jail or something. Yep. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, four or five. Then you want to watch uh, six, which is they auction the puppets off, and then we're caught up. So there you have it. Yep. There you have there it. There you have it. And there uh, you have now it. we're gonna watch Axis of Evil and Lilith Reich and call it a day. <laughs> That's right. And be done. That's with right, Puppet Master. Yeah, this this um the Puppet Master the eight the Legacy only had thirty minutes of new movie footage. So the rest was all archived from earlier films, which we just explained there. Um, so, yeah, there was only panning back to them. And literally, there was only two uh, uh, characters that were credited for this. Everyone else was just, you know, re- yeah. repeat cast members. So the only credited cast members were Jacob Witkin, who played Aaron Weiss. And then you're breaking up there. Or Cinny, who girl McClendon. And this was just re- sorry. Scotty's robotic. Where, where'd I end on? He's like tank. He's tank in his robot puppet. Dang it! Did did you hear? Did I end on? It was the just it was just that was we heard it all. It was just okay. very broken up okay. and robotic. Much like the acting of the puppeteers in um, Puppet Master Seven Retro Puppet Master. Yes. Um, cool. All right. That wraps up that. Um, so right. what did you, so you didn't watch anything this week, Rob? What did you watch? What did you watch? What did you watch? I, I'm trying to, I don't No, I mean, I honestly do not think I watched anything this week. Um, no, I no, I, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't think I watched shit either. Seriously, well, um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a double either. check. I'm a double check my watch list. I literally didn't watch shit. I watched uh, these two movies last night, uh, or yesterday slash last night. And yep. uh, we watching movies this week. Did I? Uh, let's see. Did well, I? Are you talking to Liz? Yeah, I asked Liz if we watched any movies. <laughs> well, if, if y'all watched anything, it'd have been like Frozen or. I something. have it on record well, that Shannon says that. Usually better about knowing. Last night I was gonna, or two nights ago. Uh, I s- talked about renting Hereditary and watching it, and Shannon said she'd watch it with me. Oh, I, I, think watch I, it. I um, We went to uh, we went to go see it. Me and my wife and some. <gasps> Tom, oh, Tom. Oh, oh. No, I'm happened? sorry. I just I clicked on Amazon Prime, and uh, Kevin Costner's Robin Hood's Prince of Thieves is on Prime. So oh, I have goodness to sake! Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted. I, I, by I, the way, Rob, I own it on VHS, but like I want to watch it. We almost. Uh, uh, what? Go ahead. By the way, Rob, sorry. I, I googled Linda Blair boobs, and there was a ton. Told you, man. I uh, <laughs> there no, were some books were too. out there like that, man. I almost watched the um, the Nun two nights ago. Shan said she'd watch it with me, but we couldn't. Oh yeah, I want to go to theaters. We couldn't get a baby. His sister went and watched that. Said it was good. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, we should watch it when I get back. I might watch Hereditary tonight. Just warning, forewarning. Navy okay. Seals. Something. I don't know. I didn't watch shit though. I didn't watch anything. Me neither. I was weird or busy this week. Pumpkin weird or busy week. Is on yeah. Here. A little problem. So yeah. So we'll 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 finish off the series. Disgusting. What are you talking to yourself about, Rob? I'm trying to see. No, I said I watched Truth or Dare last week. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, I do want to see this. Is I guess I don't know if it's necessarily horror, um, but that Joaquin Phoenix movie, Joaquin? you were never Joaquin Phoenix, yeah. whatever. Uh, you were never really here, where he plays like some crazy ass hitman with a mallet. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I it saw it previews looks, for that. It looks pretty good. Um, I, I'm I kind of want to go see the Nun. Yeah. No, I didn't. I, I didn't want. Holy shit! Oh, I want to really see it. Yeah, the week at all. The freaking nun like crushed box office. Who I oh, watched. Uh, it up? Yeah, it did. 
this 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 last weekend it crushed box office. I watched uh, Ed Wood, which uh, is a true story about the um, director creator of Plan Nine from Outer Space and a bunch of other B sci fi movies. Yeah, but the that hack is, Johnny is that Johnny Depp? Yeah, Johnny Depp is in it. He does good in it. He's like a different character than normal. You watched that a while ago, I thought. No, I just watched it last night. Last Didn't night, Steve. Steve Van Leer let you borrow that. Oh yeah, I've had it for like months. I just watched it. Oh, okay, nice. It's got well, uh, it's got Johnny Depp. It's got Sarah Jessica Park. Sarah Jessica. <laughs> Sarah Jessica yeah. Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, who else does it? it? Has the guy from Dumb and Dumber who the gas man? You know who's like hunt? Who's yeah. like after them? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot um, his name. Uh, Shit! The, the nun, the the nun's already done a hundred and forty million dollars. Holy fuck! It's, shit! And it was re, it was re, it was released last week. That's yeah, a, that it, is the Blumhouse, what's, what's right? Crazy. It, yeah, yeah. No. This is is no, no, this is not James, this, this is should James be. Wan. I thought I, I don't think so. I thought the oh the Conjuring is not Blumhouse. No, no it's uh, Warner no. Brothers. He's That's insidious. Right. That's Insidious is Blumhouse. Yeah, the Insidious uh, Blumhouse, yeah, which is similar is, kind uh, of. It's not directed by James Wan though. It's Corin Hardy directed it, and James Wan wrote it and produced James it. James Wan, he was he helped write it. Yeah, wow. uh, it, it, it foreign. It's done eighty million dollars foreign domestic. It's done. 62 and opening weekend it did 54 million dollars yeah Jeez. opening weekend yeah I, I, I was looking that up man yeah i wonder so what crazy, the budget yeah. is on that yeah it'd What's be interesting the, the no yeah, I, I think they did i think the budget was only like uh 12 million or something 22 million uh, uh 22 that's so What's crazy I know, but it's over twenty-two million dollars. <clears throat> that's that's not a big deal. Let's see what, what's Annabelle. Huh. Annabelle's budget was only six point five million. That's that Blumhouse money. That's that Blumhouse formula. What did it gross? Did I watch Annabelle I, Creation? I don't remember. Six point five. Yeah, we we talked about it. What happens in it? <laughs> I don't they, remember. You go out to like the well, and she falls down like the well, and they get her out of there, and. Yeah, the ring. That, I I can't. Whoa! Uh, number, Ouch. Maybe it's not the well. <laughs> Ouch! No, yeah, I think what it is happened? well. What What did you do? And Annabelle was six point five million. Oof. Its bud, budget was six point five. Guess how much money it's grossed? Ninety million. Okay, Scotty, how much? Uh, a hundred million. Two hundred and fifty-seven oh. million. Dollars. Damn! Was that is that the Annabelle series or just like, no? That's yeah. that's that's just Annabelle Creation. Part One. No, no, no. This oh, is just Annabelle Part one. one. Oh wow! Annabelle Creation. Annabelle Creation grossed three hundred and six point five million dollars. Jeez, and that's 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 just after box office. That's what like happened in Creation? Okay, theaters. she falls down a well. I thought she did, or or no, or they put her in the well, or or something. I think they put her in a well in Annabelle Creation, but Annabelle Creation was a little bit higher budget. It was still only fifteen million. It did three hundred. Wow! Million. All right, I'll just Dang, start look it up awesome. again or rewatch it. Anyways, I remember the first one. It was sort of creepy. It was in like the, in a yeah. par- apartment, basically in her daughter's room or whatever. I wonder how much it but, made so far. All right. oh, oh, holy it, it's shit. Made a lot. Yeah, made holy a lot. shit. Seven hundred million dollars. Yep. Jeez. Yep. All right. Well we could look up movie that's takes all day. Yeah. Uh, let's, that's just let's, that's, let's wrap it's, it's, this up. it's 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 awesome to see horror <laughs> it's awesome to see horror making crushing it. Making money like that. Yeah. I mean Dude, I mean like the fucking nun crushed uh, crazy rich Asians. <laughs> yeah, well, what the fuck is Crazy Rich Asians? I don't even know what that is. No, that was uh, that was like second to it. Or, or, or crush it. And then whatever. Um, what was what was after that? I, I forgot what was after that. I don't know, but let's wrap was, it up. So, anyways, uh, let's wrap it up. Peppermint. That's, um, that's what um, so yeah, next week, last Puppet Master episode. Thank God. Um, follow us at Danny Bonin at Scotty Bonin. I don't even know Rob shit anymore. 
Uh, follow me at <laughs> O'Neilio with four O's on Instagram. What's, yeah, and in and, and, and Twitter it's like at the Rob nineteen eighty six. But okay, I don't I don't do the I don't and really then, tweet. Uh, at Cold cool. Classic Horror at CC Horror on Twitter, uh, Patreon dot com slash Cold Classic Horror. If you want to help us out, uh, it's we're down in patronage. Not that we've ever been up, but we're just like down. So. We'd if love you guys, if you guys want to help us out there, we really, really appreciate it. If you go there right now, if you do become a patron at uh, well, five bucks or more, you get an awesome sticker if you don't have one already. Um, and you get all of our pre-show conversations, which I think right now there's like over 50 of them in there. Um, yeah. And all then uh, there are some other levels above that that we need to fill out a little more. But if you go up to like $20, I think it's you get a shirt and... Um, and all this stuff. So it's, yeah. So check it out. Uh, and if we start getting some more patronage, we will, uh, we've already been talking about it. We'll release our cult classic action podcast to patrons only. So probably $5, probably $5 and above. So, uh, we might start doing that weekly and, uh, there's no secret that we will start with all of the Van Damme movies. Right, Rob? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and you guys are what keep us going. And we'll so, move on to know, Steven Seagal fun. after that. <laughs> we love you guys. Oh, man. Yes. Right. Yes. So please, please, if you can find it in your heart, become a patron. We'll love you forever. Um, and you guys will we'll keep give us you, going. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll uh, keep doing what we love doing. Maybe we'll make elite elitist shirts and then whoever's a five dollar above patreon patron will just send one to you <laughs> yes we'll see about that all right um <laughs> cool thanks for joining us you guys and uh we'll catch Thank you next guys. catch you next week later. later don't you blame the movies movies don't create psychos movies make psychos more creative <laughs> There will be blood. <laughs>